As we are doing, or as we are starting local chickens, uh, we have to consider very many things. Uh, but again, good good chickens to use for breeding is also another tag of war. This video is all about how uh, good chickens to use for breeding look like. Just watch, like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. It's good, it's fun, and at the end of the day, it's very important to breed your own chickens. Uh, but what you have to know, it takes time to go the whole process. Uh, I know you guys, uh, you see me with different types of chickens, uh, with different breeds, uh, but it gave me a hard time, and it has been for quite some time to come up with the uh, such breeds as you see them because uh, most people uh, most people when you come here uh, you always say uh, that maybe the chickens I have here are crossed uh, others you say that maybe they are hybrids but I'm telling you they are pure local chickens but it's all about uh, uh, what we're going to talk about uh, how you going to select your chickens uh, for breeding. I always tell people that uh, when you're starting local chickens, it's all about every chicken you, uh, every chicken, every chicken you're starting with, just take it that you're going to breed your chickens. Uh, some of you, you start with the old, some of you people, you start with the mature chickens, but all at the end of the day, all we targeting to breed. Uh, that's why I do always advise that maybe uh, if your target is to breed, uh, just look for those fully grown chickens. Uh, of course, it will it will be very easy for you to select these chickens because they are already mature. So you will see these uh, qualities you want from these chickens. Of course, everyone. Uh, every chicken carries its own uh, qualities. As you're seeing this one, this is JB. <laughs> this is JB, uh, one of my roosters. It's a bit old, as you see, to come up with such a cock. It took me time. It's not an either thing, maybe you're starting today, and tomorrow you're, you're getting... Uh, results uh, some of the things you have to consider as you're selecting these chickens. <laughs> uh, as you're selecting these chickens, uh, you have to make sure that they are strong, healthy, and full of energy. Uh, when we talk about this one, of course, the offsprings we expect from these chickens, of course, they will be also healthy. They will be also strong. And they will be also full of energy. That's why most people, uh, you face uh, the problem of uh, your chicks being weak. Uh, it's all about their uh, uh, from weak mothers. So it's very, very important. Uh, to consider those three the being strong, healthy, and full of energy, and full of energy. Uh, then, another thing, of course, to consider here uh, is all about the history. History of your chicken shouldn't be affected by sickness uh, during their early age, at their early age. Then, another thing, it's all about the good. Uh, it's all about good behaviors. Uh, I always receive questions 
that hens the chicks fried chickens uh, they are eating their own eggs uh, I'm telling I always tell you that those are the bad devices we talk about in our very own chickens uh, if it happened that when you started with the such birds it will be uh, a habit a habit also to these chicks you you expecting to these chicks you expecting so uh, uh, considering voodoo behaviors is also very very important and then this one here is very interesting uh, it's a uh, good body shape good body shape uh, guys as we talk about good body shape I think you will see my coco here and you relate. Don't select chickens that are very short, uh, very tiny. Of course, you want to get the results. Uh, just relate this one even to us human beings. Everyone uh, is out there looking for, for good and nice looking ladies or nice looking men. So it's very important uh, to start with the, uh, to select chickens with the very very good body shape. Uh, as we go on, if you're getting that good breed you want, of course you should select uh, very good representatives. If you're considering colors, uh, select those good good chickens of that same color you want. Uh, if you're considering maybe uh, unique breeds get those good representatives from that breed then these others of course they are general egg production uh, then body weight and lastly gross rate those are uh, some of the things I always consider to come up with the chickens you see with me it takes time but at the end of the day you get results Then another trick I use here, what I do, if I want to get results from this cock and it's see, and I'm just introducing it to my fork, I start to hatch these eggs after three to four weeks. After three to four weeks, of course, you will get the results from this very cock, from this cock. But if you hatching these eggs before three, to four weeks of course you will be uh, receiving uh, chicks from the other cocks you've been with so uh, if you want uh, results from your new cock introducing uh, you have to wait and you hatch these eggs that are laid after a period of three to four weeks uh, guys it was all about how to select good chickens for breeding uh lots of love mosaic chicks sign out